Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Menes, for joining us. Just to help me understand your analysis of the current worker benefits um, that you supplied, anything moving forward, just so we can be clear for our constituents as, and as we move forward in this debate, when we talk about changing benefits to, the, to current workers, anything they have put in, anything they have earned in the system up until this point, in your analysis of Senate Bill 1, does any of that change or does it just change moving forward from the day the legislation is passed? or would be passed into law. Yeah, I, I, well, I think that the two things we said about the changes to current workers is that opening acknowledgement that that's a very complex legal issue. Right. That workers have very strong benefit protections. Um, and, and I thought Senator Brown summarized the proposals pretty well. And obviously, PERC will be doing analysis or has done analysis on this also. Uh, the two changes that Sen uh, Senator Brown mentioned were making modifications to the so-called uh, lump sum distribution under option four, making what we would describe it as being actuarially fair. Uh, that's a, a technical issue. We provided a write-up on that. And then secondly, the proposal to have current workers either increase their contributions by 25 to 3% of pay to maintain the current benefit or have the benefits revert back to Act 9, Act 9 with it. But all of those changes would take effect after. So in other words, if someone is getting close to retirement, yeah. what they have had thus far, right. it's, not, it's not retroactive. Is I, that... I, this is me not advocating for the bill and, or right. those proposals, but I think, that's, I think that's essentially the right way to think about it. So in terms of the requirement that employees raise contributions, our analysis shows that if somebody is 25 years into a 35-year career and elects not to uh, pay in higher contributions but instead to take a reduced benefit, that that aspect of the formula applies to the last 10 years of their career. And as a consequence, they would see, I think, a 6% 6 6 reduction in benefit. Somebody who's only five or 10 years in with 20 or 30 years to go uh, might see something closer to a 15 to 20 percent reduction because those changes would apply for a longer percentage of their career. Okay. Well, that clears it up for me. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry it took so long to get to the answer.